Hey, it's Robert Venable for Recording Help. Today's trick is going to be all about something you hear in a lot of songs, but I don't know that you realize you hear it in a lot of songs. Many producers and uh, mix guys will use this trick to create some hype in your track. Let's dive in. So in almost every song you hear on the radio, there's going to be a tambourine. I know you're thinking tambourine, whatever. I do, you know, whatever genre of music. Most genres of music have a tambourine, a shaker, hi-hat loop, or something like that. But in this instance, we're using tambourine, and I challenge you to list a song that does not have a tambourine in it, either like a one hit or a shake or something. Um, and usually it's buried. Sometimes it's affected, maybe distorted or something. You do whatever we want to to it, but throw it in a chorus or the back part of a bridge or something just to lift it a little bit. In this particular song, um, it's right here. It says Blue Track. I'm using uh, Cano Tambos, canotambos.com. They have every beat per minute, every tempo of tambourine loop that loops seamlessly from like 50 beats per minute to 150 beats per minute. You just drag and drop it in your DAW um, and it syncs automatically. You just put it on the grid and you can just loop it re repeatedly. It's, it's crazy. So this this song, um, the tempo is 110. I just pulled the 110 beat per minute uh, tambourine loop in there and here's what it does. <laughs> Now, obviously, that is a little louder in the mix than I probably would mix it. Um, so let's just find a little spot for it. Makes it happy in the mix. Perfect. So let's play it, and I'll just mute it and unmute it, mute it and unmute it. Um, and you can just watch it. You'll t it'll look like this when it's muted and when it's unmuted. So let's do that. So, I threw it in the little bridge breakdown there and at the very end here. Kind of the same repeat of the same part um, towards the end of the song, right before the last chorus. Anyway, that's a little trick you can use. You can saturate it, you can lo-fi it, you can distort it, you can throw a cool delay or reverb on it. Um, but it's a quick way to add a lot of hype to a song, add some energy into a chunk of a song. Till next time.